Welcome everybody. College Football Week 12 is in the books and College Football Week 13 is here. I'm Joe with The Game House and now we're going to go over College Football Week 13 picks. All right, as mentioned, College Football Week 13 is here. It's Rivalry Week. We have a lot of good picks to get to here. As a reminder, College Football money line picks here are straight picks. Uh, we'll give some nuggets about picks against the spread here and there as we go along. But here are the picks for the week. We're going to start it off got the Thanksgiving game that has become kind of fun to watch every year. I know a lot of people like watching the NFL game. I do too. I try to do multiple screens on Thanksgiving. If you're able to, you should try it as well. Ole Miss Mississippi State, everything kind of always happens weird in this game every every year. Uh, we're going Ole Miss. It's just a much better team. Mississippi State's fired their coach, Zach Garnett. Their offense has had some issues, especially injured Will Rogers being there. Um, Ole Miss, I think it's the win. They can just run the ball and take care of business. We'll move it along. We have some Friday games to go over too. Uh, we're going to go with Oklahoma over TCU. TCU not having quite the season you would expect. We'll have Iowa over Nebraska. Iowa's making the Big Ten championship game. They don't score a lot of points, uh, but they get the job done somehow. Toledo over Central Michigan. Mentioning this because Toledo is in the MAC championship game coming up. They want to stay focused and win this game. Possible chance that they could be the Group of Five representative in a New Year's Six Bowl. Uh, in order to get to that point, we're going to go to this next next pick here. We have UTSA upsetting Tulane. UTSA, rough start to the season. Maybe not as what they wanted out of this year, but Frank Harris is still there. See if they can pull up an upset win. Tulane's had some injury problems. I know Michael Pratt, their quarterback's been injured a little bit too this year. Just think they might have trouble getting into rhythm here. I think UTSA gets the win, and Tulane might be still eligible to get that group of five um, spot in the New Year's Six Bowls, but we'll see. Next one up, we're going to go Missouri over Arkansas. You know, a game that often is played this late in the season. I think Missouri's um, offense can be very, very good, and Arkansas's offense can be good too, but Arkansas's defense will have trouble keeping up. All right, next one up, let's go Oregon over Oregon State. Oregon is a more well-balanced team than Oregon State this year. Really like that they could score at a high level, but their defense has also stepped up. Bo Nix is playing efficiently. I think Oregon gets this win, goes to the Pac-12 championship game, and matches up pretty well with Washington. We'll see what we do with that pick next week. All right, Oregon, or excuse me, Ohio State, Michigan, the game. I'm actually going Ohio State outright in this one. Michigan's favored by four to five and a half points, depending on your sports book. And again, when when in the week, when in the week you're able to to look at this. Uh, but I'm going Ohio State. I mean, Michigan's looked kind of bad the last two weeks. Struggled with Maryland for longer than they should have. Struggled with Penn State. Obviously, didn't have to throw a pass, and that's cool. But I would like to see them throw more passes to get more faith in this offense against good competition. But I understand playing things close to the best as well. Now, Jim Harbaugh won't be on the sidelines. Ohio State's defense better. I think if they can limit the big plays, they can win this game on the road. They have a lot of fuel. They feel like they've been wronged having their, sign, their signs stolen by Michigan and all the talk that's gone back and forth. We'll go Ohio State. I think it, it's honestly a coin flip, though. You can tell me either team's going to win this year, and I can believe your answer because Michigan has been a very dominant team this year, but they also haven't played anyone. And Ohio State, you know, they haven't beaten Michigan when they've had better teams, but they, you know, they've they've had a good defense this year. It, it, it could go either way, but we're going Ohio State. We're going to go Louisville over Kentucky in the Governor's Cup. Kentucky has a little bit of a mess going around with their program, a lot of complaints. Um, they've had a tough schedule this year, and that, that definitely needs to be noted. But at the end of the day, um, Louisville needs to stay focused to make the college football playoff. Jeff Brom needs to be in the Coach of the Year discussions. Very, very good turnaround and very, very quick. Going to the ACC championship game, they're going to have their minds focused on Kentucky, though, because it's a rivalry game before they get to that point. We'll keep on scrolling down here. Let's go with LSU over Texas A&M. Now, Jimbo Fisher's out. They've recruited a lot of good players over the last several years, and they have a lot of guys who I think can make an impact on this, this LSU offense. But Jaden Daniels is going to play well. They know they need to have him play well to win the Heisman. If he has a dud of a game and he goes down to four losses, they might say, oh, let's put, give it to someone who's on a better team or you know, maybe someone who had a better end of the season or has an extra game under their belts when they play in a conference championship game. They're going to stay focused. They're going to let you know him They're gonna let him have a big game, and LSU is going to win. Miami, Ohio over Ball State. Again, just mentioning this, Miami, Ohio is playing in the MAC championship next week uh, against Toledo. I think Miami stays focused and wins this game as well. And keep on moving down here. We're going to Utah over Colorado. Colorado had a lot of hype to start the season, but if you look at their talent composite according to 24-7 sports, it's just like, you know, 35th, I believe, in the country. It's not that great. I think it's a grinded-out game for Utah, so I think if you take Colorado plus the points, it could be something fun to do, but we're going to go Utah here to win outright. Let's go with 
Arizona over Arizona State. I uh, just want to talk about Jed Fish for a second. Honestly, great job winning this game. Could have them in position of maybe making a New Year's Six Bowl. Probably going to need some help, but there's a lot of big games this weekend where upset losses could happen. They could move up a little bit. Let's go with Alabama over Auburn. The Iron Bowl, you know, shouldn't be too competitive. I believe Alabama was favored by 14 and a half the last time I checked. Alabama's playing as good as almost anyone in the country. It's unfortunate they have that loss to Texas that's holding them back in the rankings, but the games do matter. I do think they win this one. And then if they beat Georgia, a lot is up in the air, so we'll see what happens. Washington over Washington State in the Apple Cup. One of the last times this will be played. I know they have a schedule coming up, but at least the last scheduled times. Uh, you want to send, if you're, if you're Washington State, you want to send Washington out with a loss. There's a lot of motivation there, but... Washington has had a very good offense all year. When their offense hasn't stepped up, their defense has stepped up just enough to get the job done. So we're going to go Washington in that one. Florida State over Florida. Interesting game here because both starting quarterbacks are out. You know, Jordan Travis, college career is done. That's unfortunate. And I think the committee might hold it against them when we get down to it because they can't take player injuries into, into account. I think they're able to focus and get the win. They have a more talented team across the board. And I'm, not just, I'm just not sure where Florida's offense goes. So we're going to take Florida State. We're going to go Clemson over South Carolina. South Carolina got the win over Kentucky. They're 5-6, and six, need to win to get to a bowl game. They won last year. You know, Obviously, there's rumors that they had signs stolen that came from Michigan and everything. Don't know if that's true. I do know Clemson can be very highly motivated. They have a very good defense, and South Carolina has not been able to protect Rattler at all times this year, so we're going to go Clemson to win. We have Georgia over Georgia Tech. That's an easy one, but just for playoff implications, we'll say that. You know, They, they get key at the win, go to, go to Atlanta, and still have – that undefeated record. We have UNC over NC State. You know, NC State's been a tough team when they play on the CW, but I think North Carolina's offense, Drake May and O'Marion Hampton, quarterback running back combo is very, very good. I think they're able to get the win. And that, that'll that be it. We'll, we'll do one more. We'll do Kansas State over Iowa State. Uh, Iowa State, uh, very tough team to play. Kansas State seems to have found their stride. They've kind of like had their stride, then lost it, they got it back. So, been a rough year, but uh, they, they can win this game. They still have chance to make the big 12 championship game and i think they'll stay focused and win that one so those are the picks for the week let me know what you're picking down in the comments below for now thanks for watching we'll see you guys next time